morning morning um so we were with daddy in the car um he's going to drop me off at work um so the first question was thank you firstly to everyone that has been donating keeping us in their prayers reacting and sharing on all the videos and posts that we keep putting up there uh the people that keep sending us ideas of where we can get cars initially we had wanted to get a car at we buy cars but then when we got there the car that we had seen was then sold by then um so the first question is um how has this Impacted your life, Daddy? Uh, very bad, very bad. I'm still struggling to come to terms with it. Uh, yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah, very bad. And it has impacted very badly on my family, as well my wife, my mom, and everybody around me. And they keep on reminding me of what happened. When they're sending the uh, their sympathy messages. Sorry, Daddy. Um, so also um, concerning the impact, um, the reason why Daddy um, mentioned uh, Ma and Gogo, which is my grandmother, is uh, Ma is currently unemployed. She lost her job in 2015, and Daddy has been. Um, um, using the car uh, as a maxi taxi driver to bring income at home and to um, provide and feed Ma himself, um, the whole family as a whole, and two of his grandkids, which are my nieces. Um, with Gogo, Gogo usually has hospital appointments. Um, she needs to go get her grant. Um, Daddy usually, because Gogo's old, I think she's turning 93 this year and 92 93 daddy usually drives her to all these places to get um assistance or to get help um and so it's harder for goko to use public transportation or go to you know, go into any other car or have an alternative having somebody else accompany her instead of daddy dropping her off um yeah I guess the messages do get a bit hectic sometimes when you keep rem getting reminded of the trauma that you've been through. Um, and then the second question was, um, how, what has this taught you about yourself? 